men and women of the 18th Air Force, ours is a time of great challenge and great opportunity. There has never been a more important time to lead our airmen. I want to reassure you that lead is what I will do as your new 18th Air Force commander. And it is what I ask of every airman, lead boldly. You are on the front lines executing our core missions throughout the globe, saving the lives of our wounded, rapidly deploying critical cargo, providing fuel for global strike missions. With forces provided by the U.S. Expeditionary Center, we enable our worldwide response by ensuring rapid and responsive command and control for our global air mobility system and creating key mobility nodes in times of crisis. All the while, you flawlessly execute our no-fail missions of safely flying the President of the United States and refueling our nuclear forces. Our mission has never been more dynamic and the need for your leadership more important. Under the guidance of General McDew, we have established ourselves as a critical partner of every warfighting commander and a symbol of hope to those in need. We will continue and strengthen these relationships under my lead. I have a sincere respect for you, an appreciation for your service, an understanding of your sacrifices and those of your loved ones. I also have a fundamental belief in you as airmen. You wear our uniform proudly and serve in a long blue line of distinguished warriors and innovators who are unafraid to question the status quo with new ideas and solutions to our challenges. The American public looks to us to defend our nation and its freedoms. It is the sacred obligation of all who serve in the profession of arms. So in this time of great challenge and great opportunity, it's our time and our obligation to lead and lead well. We will. Thank you for your service to our command, our Air Force, and our great nation.